What about you guys? It's Scott here from Keeper Freak Gaming, and welcome back to the next part of Let's Play Shadow Man. So, in the last episode, we went to the the keyways, yes, keyways of the asylum, and we managed to get to tier nine. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go back to the, this one. Yeah, this is a temple, the Temple of Blood, because I can finally get the last of the voodoo items. Which I've been in dire need of since the start of the game. I say in dire need, but it, I, I just, I need it. So, uh, this is going to cause a lot of backtracking. No, it's not. I just need to remember how to get up there. First of all, we need to get rid of these sisters. Oh, that Come on, you're the last one. And you're dead. Okay. First things first, we need to go up. Is there a way for me to get up there from here? Does not look like it. So I'm going to go back through here and hopefully be able to work my way around to getting where I need to go. This could take a while because I need to, you know, navigate my way through everything, but with any luck, it won't be too bad. We actually should be coming close to the end of the game at this point. Um, I just remember... I'm not entirely sure whether or not I need to get every last Dark Soul. I might do, but we'll see. I remember if I've gone the right way. I think I have. Basically what I'm trying to find is that room with all the floor tiles that need a breaking. This one no. Ah, this room. And try this tunnel first. One of these two tunnels should lead out to that gate. There it is. Okay, long. Please tell me I'm not wrong. Um, get nine. I am the Lord of Deadside. That you are, Shadow Man. That you are. This oh. would be useful. That's all I'm for. Voodoo hand grenade. Drop the dot on my right hand. Simple enough. Throw it down. Run away. Great big explosion. <laughs> takes us to here, and there should be one. Yep, another one here. That explosion does hurt you, by the way, if you get caught in it, and it does do a fair bit of damage from what I remember. You can use it as a weapon, but it's not very effective due to the fact it takes so long to. Like, go off. Got it. Got it. But anyway, we go back up here. And we'll do the same thing over again, get back to the room. No way. Get back to the room with all the floor tiles, set them all off. And I believe there should be only. Is there only one in this area left? No, there's four in this area left. Okay. As I said, well, I'm gonna just go through this area. See how many I find. I'm not entirely sure whether I'm going to get all of them or not. Um, but I'll see what I can do. And then I will open up the path to the engine block. Hopefully, be able to get the last of the. Uh, I what they're called again. The retractors. 
whatever they were called anyway. I'm going to get the last of them, defeat the last of the five, shut down the final pumps of the engine block, and then I should be able to go to the end of the game, basically. So not an awful lot to go. All I need is just that one retractor, I think. It's probably not called that, but that's what I'm going to call it for now, because I can't think of any other word. Basically, if, if I can get to the Lizard King, and from there make it to the last of the, the fifth boss, um, I shouldn't have a problem finishing the game from that point. It's just whether or not I need to find the last of the... Whether or not all five bosses are separate. They don't really feel like running around trying to find all of the Dark Souls. It'll take too long, it'll be too much editing on my part. Oh, I killed one of them. Kill the Dark Sister first. Moon Sister. Alrighty then. I need to get in there. Most of these will just have supplies in them, there won't be anything of importance. But one of them should have a tunnel, I believe, leading out of it. This one. So I'll not go here just yet. I'll not fall down that one either. Come on, climb. Or don't, that's fine. I guess he didn't want to climb up because of the rock that was in his way. Got it. Nothing in this one. I'm gonna check them all just in case I'm gonna miss anything. But for the most part, there shouldn't be anything of interest in any of these. That one. Oh, and there's another path. Okay. In that case, go down this one first. See where this takes me. Here. What's up here? Nothing of importance. By the looks of it. Fair enough. We shall go down this tunnel. And get a dark soul. Simple enough. Although it only leads to one. I understand that if you get to level 10 and make the boss fight, easier just due to the fact that you're more power powerful powerful even but it's not overly needed no, I have a <laughs> well because I'm not gonna run around looking for where I need to go I guess it's back to the past of shadow. Because we need a new area. The last couple of videos have been too much running around the same places we've already been, trying to find everything. It's about time we find somewhere new. I think, anyway. We can avoid these guys. We'll be taking all the shortcuts along the way, so it's not going to take us too long. Gone the wrong way. And away we go. So 
that and that hand. Sorry. Bye bye. see where we get to. If I'm right, it is the engine block. If I'm wrong, then there's quite a bit more to go. Damn up. Damn up. And away we go. Do not walk softly into the jaws of the dragon. Do not accept the loathsome embrace of the beast at the heart of the horror. But instead, discover that fearsome face, teeth bared, eyes a spark with ice cold hate, sinews braced for the fall. And yet, I feel the beast does not await me at the maze's dark core. I am on the edge of knowing, and yet I am afraid that the knowledge will cause me to walk a willing sacrifice into the jaws of the dragon. Good to know, and that proved my point. That chapel you seen at the end um, will be like the others. It will have the retractor in it, or whatever it's called, and I will be able to get to the Lizard King at the very least. So it'll make the next couple of videos quite interesting, I say, I suppose. So. Also, if you have a fully charged shot. Oh, it's not in this one. I thought tier 9 might have had it. When you get to tier 10, your fully charged shot will have like a bit of yellow on top of it. With more violator ammo. I don't know if I showed, but while I was um, farming out, or basically grinding out, trying to find the those the souls in the last couple of videos. I did pick up some more violator ammo as I can't remember if I actually showed you them or not. But if I didn't, then you know not. Kill an enemy with that. Um, I don't know if I said this already wrong. Kill an enemy with a booty weapon. You don't get any health back from them. They just burn up. Plenty of Kado anyway. I wonder if I'll make it to another hundred. Probably not. Plenty of violator ammo. I probably won't use it until the end, final boss fight. It's not something that I use a lot often. What's in here? More, more goodies. Oh, hello. Um, goodbye. Swiftly moving on. Here's your checkpoint. No. Don't shoot at me, you know this will end well. No platform. Die. No. Seriously, you're targeting Pete's. There you go. 
His targeting kept dropping just as the enemy got stunned to give it lower a little bit. Which basically meant that he kept shooting the bloody wall instead of the enemy. But that's just one of the little quirks of this game. As I keep trying to, as I keep pointing out, sorry. Here. I hear that chainsaw. Yeah, I can prepare it. Which means you are worthless. Can I normal come up? Can't just jump out over. Fair enough. Must find another way. So as you might tell, everything seems to be getting a bit more industrial. Like before it was very much uh, like gory and weird. Now it's just more like pipes and buildings and machines and that kind of thing. It's all more mechanical. The soundtrack is as good as it's always been. Good for setting an atmosphere. Hello. Thank you. Moving on. There's three of us in here. Pity you needed more. Oh, and there, there is said more. And we're done. Anything of interest in here? There is indeed. There we go. What have you done? You started the tourneys. Okay, I've noticed that. Can you? Can we? Thank you. No, don't jump. Yes, the game really wants you to make sure to know that there are three bits that turn around up here. No, don't jump back. Oh, there's someone there. Hello. I wonder what you were doing here. Can I get to that? Any chance? I don't know. Oh, uh, I can't find out. Up we go. And no, doesn't look like we can get to that. Hmm. Fair enough. Over this way. This. I'll wait for that one to pass. There we go. Oh. Make the jump. And we're good to go. Where do we drop off? There we go. Wasn't too difficult. Less. And third. 
Remember whenever some of these guys gave me difficulties back in a couple of videos ago? Now the only thing that gives me difficulty is those biggins. But then again, that's why they're the hardest enemy in the game. They're supposed to do that. Anyone else? Nope. Key. You used the key. How long have we been working for? Not long enough. Good to know. Once again, we bring you the extended version of that cutscene. Unnecessarily so. Jump. There we go. Nothing else of interest on this level, no. Does not look like it. I'm gonna win. Thanks for knocking me off there. I think that might be the way we came in. This is the way we're going. I think. Yes. I think this is actually quite a decent the um, kind of addition that the developers put into the game. They knew that their targeting system was a little off when it came to shooting straight down, or close enough to straight down. So they threw in a few areas where you had to shoot almost straight down. Just added a bit to the challenge. Could have done it a bit more often or utilized that kind of mechanic. But that's neither here nor there. That's just me being Picky. Nothing there. Oh, there we go. And you're dead. You missed from that range? Seriously? For enemies to really good aim, they don't have a really good aim. Excuse my dogs if you hear them, I believe. Yep, that is the postman. So I'll be back in a wee second whenever I get this. Apologies for that, and I'm back. So, shall we continue? This way. Strange for a, a Let's Play series that's gone on quite a while without any need for cutting. We've had quite a lot of cuts in the last couple of episodes. Then again, we knew that could happen just due to the fact of I didn't want to run around aimlessly looking for stuff while recording, so I did it whenever we weren't recording. Got it. What the Nice. Have I gone everywhere or have I missed something? I'm also to just jump off that ledge down there. Fair enough. So down we go. I've probably missed something already, but... I can come back again if I need to. Sound below me, so I don't need to worry about them just yet. <laughs> uh, 
time, but of course she had to shoot. They had to shoot me before I made it here. Where do I need to go? Oh, here. Whoops. Press the wrong button there, so... I gotta make sure this is working okay. Apologies once again for that one. I... pressed the Windows key. <laughs> so that it brought me up to my desktop and froze the game. But, the recording continued. That was fine. Here down there, I need to go this way, I guess. Unless this is going backwards, in which case, a big waste of time. But I don't, don't know. Find out soon enough. I'm gonna stand there, not bother. Trying to shoot me at it or anything. That everyone. It seems so. Nope. I heard you. Oh, he's, up, he's up above me. I thought he might have been right in that corner. Have I been here before? I have a feeling I might have been. Keep going anyway, and we'll see. Yes, I believe this is back where to start, so that's fine. It's just an easier way to get through, I guess. We'll go back up that road and see where we can get to. Or else we can get to, I guess. There we go. There we go. Coming up to the end of this video, anyway. I started my timer a little late, so I'm not 100% sure how long this is going to last. Well, I'm sure I can figure it out. Uh, I can't make that jump, can I? Oh, I can. Like a lot further than what they're not. Anyway, we can continue. That's it, come around the corner, right where I can shoot. Also, key. I know where we are, back in this area. The bit that I thought I couldn't get to at first. We're right outside the doorway for me, eh? Too bad it didn't do you any good. This, this. I don't need that, but I'll take it anyway. Is there a door up here? And this one by the dips of it. Oh. Fair enough. We'll go across to the other side. I'm 
10 day of them at this point. I don't think I'll be able to get another 40 odd, or however many I need to get the 100, but I'll get a fair few anyway. Forty-four. I'm not gonna get there. Um, another big circular room. This game likes big circular rooms. And that is a cage for a tree for me. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Okay, go through the tunnel. Or do I go down there and fight myself a tree for? Hmm. Well, I will make that decision in the next video because I am out of time for this one. So, um. That's that one finished. So once again, thank you all for watching. I hope you're still enjoying this. I know it's getting a little long, but we're coming close to the end now, so bear with me a little longer. And yeah, so thanks again for watching. If you liked it, leave a like and all that stuff. And tell me how to improve. Always comment, but be con you know constructive. Don't just randomly blabber, but still. Thanks again, and as always, no matter what you do and how you do it, keep your lit.